everyone! Alright, so today I have yet another holiday look for you guys. I don't think you can have too many ideas, especially for the holiday season. Everybody's looking for something different, so I'm just trying to cover all the bases as far as holiday looks go. So for this one, I decided to do a more dramatic lip, and I just have this red lip on and then I did um, some winged out liner with some really simple silvery white eye makeup um, just so it wouldn't be too overbearing since I do have a really bright lip on but this red lip is different from my red lip tutorial this one um, only includes two steps and two products so it's not like you're going to be layering on lots of lipstick and all that and it's really easy to touch up throughout the night so um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial so let's go ahead and get started okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is line your tight line with some kind of black eyeliner and I'm just using Rimmel's Exaggerate waterproof eye definer in color 26 which is black and I already went ahead and did that just to save time for this video. Then I'm going to prime my eyelids using Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm just going to take it and sweep it across my entire eyelid up to my brow bone and my inner corner and then also some down below since we're going to be putting a little bit of shadow down there as well. Alright, so next I'm going to take Mousson Cream Eyeshadow from NARS, and this is a silvery sage color, and um, when you put this on, it's really sheer, and so I'm just going to be using this as a base, just so the eyeshadows stick a little bit better, but once you put it on, you can really see that it's really not that green, but if you want a green color, um, it's really buildable, so I love um, this cream eyeshadow. Okay, so now I'm going to be using Revlon's Luxurious Color Eyeshadow in Glistening Snow, and this is just a sparkly white eyeshadow. And I'm going to take a flat makeup brush, get a little bit on there, tap off any excess, and I'm going to sweep this on the inner half of my eyelid and on the inner corner, just like that. Then I'm going to use the smaller dense side of my brush and dip that in the glistening snow, tap off any excess, and work this on my lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm going to take Max Eyeshadow in Idolize, which is just a sparkly silver color, and um, a flat makeup brush. Get that in there. And this eyeshadow has a lot of fallout. That's why I use the... Um, cream shadow base so it would stick better. So tap off any excess and then put this on the outer half of your eye. And just kind of work it into your crease just a little bit. And then up to your brow bone, you just gently want to blend it up. And just kind of mix it in with the white. Okay, so now I'm going to take Max Eyeshadow in Clue. Now, this was limited edition, and it came out a while ago. It was in the Originals collection, so you can't get this anymore. But um, Smoke and Diamonds by MAC is a great dupe for it. This is just like a silvery taupe color. So I'm going to take um, a crease brush like this, get some on there, tap off any excess, and then work this on the outer corner. And then kind of work it up into the crease. Just to give your eye a little bit of depth. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the Glistening Snow Color and my flat makeup brush. And I'm just going to get a little bit on there. You don't want too much. And I'm going to use this as a highlight underneath my brow bone. And just kind of work it into the inner corners. And just blend it in. Okay, so that's all for the eyeshadows, and now I'm going to move on to the winged liner that I have on. So I'm just going to be using L'Oreal's Linear Intense Carbon Black Liquid Liner. I'm going to shake it up, and it's just a felt tip liner like this. And I'm going to start by just lining my upper lash line. 
and get as close to your lashes as you possibly can. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the winged part of the liner. And I just start off by following the natural line of my lower lash line. So I'm just going to bring the eyeliner up like this. Just like that. So you have like a guideline. Then I'm just going to connect the lines by starting about a third of the way up my eyelid and I'm just going to bring it out like this and then connect the two lines and then fill it in. Okay so I am finished with the winged liner and I've curled my eyelashes and now I am going to take L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara in black and I'm just going to put one coat of this on my lashes. And this is just so um, it helps them lengthen out a little bit and you get good separation from this. But you just want one light coat of it. Then I'm going to use Maybelline's um, Colossal Mascara and this is um, for thickening. So the telescopic's for lengthening and this is for thickening. So you're really going to have those glam, wow, look at me lashes. And I'm really liking this combination. I've been using it a lot lately and I just really, really, really like it. Alright, so I'm completely finished with all of my eye makeup. And I know some people don't feel comfortable wearing a red lip, so if you want to go ahead and stop right here and just put on a nude lipstick or a baby pink lipstick, that would look just as great. But I'm just going to show you how to do a really easy and fast red lip. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take Max Lip Pencil in Brick, and I'm just going to start coloring in my lips. And I just start from the center and work my way out. And this will give your lips like a really nice um, red stain. So I just kind of get it on there and you can tell I don't have it all over my lips, but I just take my fingers and just kind of smear it in. Just so you get like a really faint red color. Okay, so I've blended in the Brick Lip Pencil into my lips, and you can see what a nice stain it leaves. And I'm just going to top it off with a little bit of Max Dazzle Glass Cream in Totally Fab, and this is just a really glittery red lip gloss. And it's great to use on its own if you don't want a really powerful red lip. So I'm just going to put this on my lips. All right, so this is the finished look, and I just went ahead and topped everything off with a bit of Max Dame Blush, and this is just a really pretty baby pink color, and it gives you a really natural pink flush across your face. I didn't want anything too shimmery for this look because I already have a red lip, and then I have winged liners, so I just wanted something really natural. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and I will see you guys later. Bye.